Next up, we have Deezer. And so we're talking subscriber numbers here because I'd like to use this as a way to help sort of get people excited about a platform, maybe just pay a little bit more attention to it. So Deezer's actually been around since 2011. They're available in over 180 countries and they do have a free option and a paid option. So a lot of artists are finding they can log in, use a free account, get a feel for how it works, make sure their music is all in there as well. The tool that they provide is Deezer for Creators. It was previously known as Deezer Backstage, and you can find that at creators.deezer.com. Quick things that you can do in here, you can add a status update, which allows you to basically have something shorter than a tweet that you can update constantly, just text only at the top of the page. Your latest release is always featured on your artist page, but you can also feature a release from your catalog. So. If you have a release that's doing really well or you would like to give it another opportunity to put it on the top of the profile, let people hear it, you can feature both of those at the same time on the profile. And then the usual things such as add a biography, profile photo, link to social media. Um, I should mention definitely link to social media on all of these where possible. The reason I say that is there's been so many times where I hear a song I like and I go to their profile and there's either an incorrect link or there's no links, so I can't easily find them on social media. And if there was, I would probably go to their Instagram, go to their Twitter, go to their TikTok and follow them and find out more about them, connect with them on a deeper level other than just listening to their music. So adding those links does matter and it does help people to find you in other places as well. Now, Deezer do have an editorial pitch process. It's not in the app. What it is, it's a pitching form for management and there's a separate pitching form for a label. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is if you don't have a manager, you're self-managed. That still counts. So you can still use this form and you can still submit your music for editorial playlist consideration with Deezer as your own artist manager. This is the official Deezer form that people on the artist services and creative services team will share with you if you ever reach out to them on LinkedIn or email or anything like that. So it is becoming more common. They just haven't found a way to integrate this into the app. Did I just answer your question again, Drew? You're welcome. <laughs> um, you know, this is just an interesting one. This may sound a little borderline stalkerish. But essentially, all of the people that work at Deezer that are editors have their own public profile in the Deezer app. So what I like to do is go into Deezer, go to their profile, and you can actually see the music they've been listening to recently, playlists that they follow, as well as playlists that they curate, artists that they're following, even podcasts they've been listening to in Deezer. And, um, I'm not trying to put any crazy ideas out there, but there was one where someone was heavily into gardening and I know an artist actually used that angle to get their attention. <laughs> and this next screen, so for anyone that doesn't know, I mentioned I have a day job. I work with a company called Chartmetric that provides music data and analytics for artists, for A&Rs, for music supervisors. The reason why I wanted to show this is not just Chartmetric, but there's a number of tools that will show you a curator's profile and all of the playlists that they curate. Um, to be fair, there's other tools like Spot on Track, um, Sound Charts, Vibrate, where they will show you things relating to playlists and curators. And I find these tools helpful because you can look at them and you can say, okay, Antoine, these are the playlists curated by Antoine and some of them will even go as far as saying when they were last updated. And the reason why that's helpful is I've had people that have said, oh, I, I just wrote out this awesome pitch and I kept saying that this playlist would be perfect. It hasn't been updated in two years. And I'm like, well, if you get on there, you're going to be on there for a long time. But if they don't update it, you've just missed an opportunity. Maybe you should have just focused on the ones that they actually update and continue to update.